this week's episode, we're giving advice on how to spice up your life. We talk all things role play. I'll be analysing artificial intelligence, aka AI. <laughs> and at the end of the episode, why a border collie pup is perfect for a clingy man. <laughs> Shake your ass, Tommy. Let your coochie breathe. Pardon? So when she went from Florence Nightingale to Florence Nightmare again. <laughs> Have you ever swore at Siri? She goes, don't talk to me like that. Yeah, I've heard oh, that. F- off, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we've got a huge favour to ask you all. Yeah, we took the mick out of people saying, subscribe to my channel <laughs> last week. But that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Please subscribe because it actually means a hell of a lot for this podcast. And if you do, we show you what Ross looks like. If you want to see Ross's sexy schmush, hit subscribe now. Shabba. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Therapy Crouch with me, Avi Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. And you, Ross Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are we? Good. Brace well, face. Um, this is a new new thing. Yes, I've got my brace on. It's not out of pure vanity. My um, teeth have moved and my bite is affected and give me pain in my jaw. Your bite's affected? Yeah, because my bite is off. So I had train tracks in lockdown. Yeah. Got them off. And I was supposed, I had like three trays of Invisalign to wear. Mm -hmm. And then I was supposed to get the retainer on the back. And then we went into full lockdown. So obviously all the dentists were closed. So they moved back to Goofy. (laughs) So I just. They look like perfect to me. I don't know. Because you've moved quickly. It's been on like a week. How long have you got them on for? It's it's a bit of a suck it and see kind of vibe. That's not how I live by. <laughs> Couldn't go far wrong with that, did you? What? Suck it and see. <laughs> what? No idea. No idea. Don't know what it means. Yeah, but thanks for making me feel self conscious in the first I 30 think, seconds of our podcast. You literally can't notice it. I think they look nice. I look like, a bit apey. The face. I think you it looks nice. a bit of a pout as well. Yeah. But for everyone who thinks I've had veneers, <laughs> shove that up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's a quote, isn't it? <laughs> for our listeners. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I would never get veneers like my teeth. Jesus Christ. Your teeth are lovely. You don't need to do any of that, do you? No, I know. But people think, people go, oh, her teeth are horrendous than veneers. Who says that? Some some people. No one Trolls. That. Haters. Trolls. Hey, 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 haters going to hate. <laughs> Players <laughs> going to play. <laughs> Players going to play. <laughs> Three belts to quote to my five minutes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How are you then? Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, I've had a little. Well, I've had a bit of an illness, as you know. Um, Don't I know it? <clears throat> I've not been not been feeling too well, but I am back to fighting form now. Should we talk about your illness a little bit more? Should we talk about when you came in? So you came in from football. Mm. Normally, when he comes home from the pun, football punditry, treat, he's freezing. Yeah. He's been on the pitch, so I was running a nice hot bath. But I, 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 I didn't know you're not supposed to give someone a hot bath with a temperature of forty degrees. Oh my god. So I, you know, he was freezing. I ran him, ran him the bath, and when he come out, he was hallucinating, running around the house looking for his golf bag. <laughs> I heard about this. And I'm like, what oh, are think, you doing? Obviously, I was a bit delirious, but I, I, in my head, I knew I had golf in the morning. I didn't want to let my power down, um, so I always just rush around in my head, thinking that I need to go to golf, and I just, I, I just had what I was wearing, <laughs> and just was going out. It was nine p.m. <laughs> oh, it's dark. Bizarre, wasn't it? Yeah. That was, that was the kind of place I was in. Um, bit hairy at times. Mm. was told it was flu. Yeah. Um, mm. Flu's I, bad to be fair. Flu well, yeah, you. it hit me hard, if I'm honest. Well, when you were a footballer, you used to get the flu jab like every... I know, well, that's what I realised. I was like, get, used to get the flu jab every year. And then this year, obviously, now I'm retired. It's just... Doesn't think about it. St- you, I've every, never had that. These things are just taken care of, you know, with the football. And I obviously didn't realise how lucky we were, kind of looked after it medically. It's, now, like, it's like having a, a horse, isn't it, or something? You know, like a, <laughs> you know, like a, you know, like a racehorse, you know, every... Yeah, well, I am finely tuned, yeah. like a racehorse. In, ma- in many ways. <laughs> Stallion. <laughs> Stallion, it's been, it's been said. How is uh, Abby as a nurse? Was she a bit nurse ratchet? Yeah, she's or? really good, really good. Like, I can't... She's just so on it, like... As you can expect, she was she was absolutely fantastic until the point where I got kind of better. 
And then I just got shouted at yeah, yeah. Uh, for being a bad patient, really. <laughs> so when she went from Florence Nightingale to Florence Nightmare Ingale. <laughs> hey, he's had that in oh the back. Oh, my God. Had it, that he hasn't just come been, up with that. You've been <laughs> rehearsing that. I'm just sick, bad. I said it on, my, on the football pod, actually. About me? <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You were at the house at the time. You were, what I said there is, you know that's true. You were fantastic throughout my illness. <laughs> Couldn't do any more for me. I uh, think you're selfish. Uh, and then, yeah, this is the kind of... Yeah. Then, then it was like, it went full... Well, you once know, I got you, better, it was... Then I was being selfish. Did it become a bit like misery? You know what he's like? <laughs> it's like, you know, like it was just in the bed. <laughs> yeah. What? What's misery? It's like breaking my legs <laughs> so, so I can't move. I want you to get off the bed and leave. You do me head in. Oh, no, no. No, Pete's the worst patient. You know, he's not... He hasn't got a lot of reserves. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's a tall, thin guy. So when he's ill and you, you lose your appetite, like I get so worried. So I'm trying to fatten him up and he won't, he, he's so bad at finishing his dinner, like mm -hmm. when he's not well and doesn't understand that it's for your own health. Yeah. So I was just getting shouted at quite a lot. Um, but, you know, all, all from a good place, I understand. But um, you kind of. Yeah, because Pete finds it, Pete's a very get up and go person. Yeah. So when he's in bed not, not and has to indoors. stay in bed, he finds it very difficult. But, yeah. you know, that takes me back to when I was pregnant. I, I was in bed for months. Mm. And you're like, why are you so horrible? And I'm like, because it's tough. It's tough being in bed. I it's didn't like, think I was horrible. I was ill and I wasn't horrible. Oh, Pete, you were so grumpy. Oh, was I? So grumpy. That's not true. It is. I was getting shouted at constantly. Because you were doing everything wrong. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> you were being ill wrong. You had the flu wrong. Being ill wrong. <laughs> what is the right way to be ill? <laughs> the right way to be ill is to listen to your nurse and doctor. Do what you're told oh, for your own benefit. I was, I did. But I'm glad to see you're on the men now. Yeah, I feel much, much better. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks you, for you all your good. support, though. Appreciate it. I had a good team around me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pete, Pete does, you know, I had a lot on work-wise and Pete was supposed to mind the kids and mm. it's like always when I've got something important to do mm. shit hits the fan mm. yeah, I, 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 I look after you well you really can't well, say I, no I don't you, you know all of it even the even the anger comes from a good place it's it's you looked after me fantastically well well done so I appreciate that the well done thanks all right, should we get into the weekly wines? You got anything that you'd like to get off your chest? You hit, uh, me, hit me first. Well, yeah, usually if I, if I say mine, then you double hit me back. <laughs> <laughs> it all just come flooding in. So I'll just, what I'll say is, um, our daughter's turning 13. Um, um, it looks like Glastonbury in the front garden, number one. And um, number two is, can we not just have like a week without workmen? Yeah. Work, 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 um, work, work, work. <laughs> I noticed you're getting the driveway done. Yeah, but Pete, you can't blame that on me. You know, our driveway is trashed and it's bringing mud in the house. There's never a right time to do a driveway. There's never a never right time. Never a true word been so said. Heard. <laughs> As the old saying goes. <laughs> the oldest saying in the book, though. No, there isn't. And never t <laughs> it's never a right time for a driveway. <laughs> It's not though, babe, isn't it? I agree with that. We had, this is going to bore everyone's tears, but we did like have a, a, a loose stone kind of driveway. Oh, yeah. Um, and now I'm going for like a bonded driveway. It's called Vuba. And it's like a bonded stone which stays fixed so the kids can ride up and down the, the driveway on their bikes. Yeah. Scooters and bikes, I mean, it's perfect. The loose stones are no good for them. Really. No, because especially like when all the loose stones coming in the house and scratching on my wooden floor. Mm. You know, this Vubas, once it's laid, it's done. But it kind of has that stone effect, doesn't it? Yeah. Really? Broken stone effect. Yeah, it's, it's lovely like mixed stone, but it needs to be done. So I'm just trying to plan it and then the house will be done. Yeah, and Apart also from... the, the, the big tent that's gone up. It's like a disco tent, right? A disco tent. The pyramid stage. <laughs> literally looks literally like... literally the pyramid stage, yeah. does look like the pyramid So, yeah, Sophia's... Look, your life is about memories. Mm. Sophia is only 13 once. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is how you justify these things. You, it's the first time to be a teenager. Yeah, I suppose. Like, it just it just feels like you know when you see those the old sweet sixteens yeah, and they roll yeah, up yeah. in the limo. She wanted a bar mitzvah. That is so funny. I'm she wants she a because a, a, a few of her friends who've had bar mitzvahs and they're like, is it a problem that we're not Jewish? 
Yeah. Yeah. You got to, and also, she's not a boy. She's got to have a bat mitzvah, I think, for a girl. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. she wants the bit, the huge party. Yeah, she wants to be on the, <laughs> the chair. She wants, like, to, uh, she wants the huge celebration, you know, and they're, they're always fantastic bar mitzvahs, aren't they, when we've been over yeah. the years. And yeah. um, They go to town, don't they? Yeah, they do. So we're going to have a huge celebration for Sophia's bed. She's my firstborn child. Mm. She's already a spoiled brat, so this party is not going to change her. <laughs> <Whoa. Yeah. laughs> well, no. Also, the after I've got party, 50 kids kicked off, coming to the house. 50, so I've got this tent. Claire's, Claire arranged the tent. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. It's, you could, it's like a wedding, mm -hmm. which is going to... Sophia said we're not allowed to attend the party as the parents. Nice. Yeah, but which, what time are they all going home? Because we could slip in there. That's going to kick off when the other Oh, yeah, well, we're having our own party Get afterwards. The decks out. <laughs> We've got a DJ. <laughs> yeah, I've got a DJ. I've got he, full can he do DJ. the adult one after? Yeah. Okay. If we give him a little Brucey. <laughs> little backhander. <laughs> little backhander. Stay for another hour. <laughs> um, <Hour and> hour. <laughs> Simply red on. Yeah. yeah. Get Dozier off and get Simply on. Yeah. <laughs> Take it right back to the, to the 80s and 90s. Sophia's done a playlist. It's hilarious. Oh, God. It, she had to do a playlist for the DJ and it's literally just the top 50, from like, capital. I couldn't believe the top 50. Like, me and my mates on our group, right, realised how old we were the other day because we were talking about the language in, in some of the songs at the moment I couldn't believe it bloody filth I was going this is an absolute I was going genuinely this is an absolute disgrace <laughs> shake your ass for me okay. let your coochie breathe pardon that is such a Did tune you say? Yeah. I've seen you letting your coochie breathe yeah. to that song in our, in our kitchen yeah, this is what I'm saying is the time and the place for it it's not the school run <laughs> oh it is yeah your coochie breathe about tennis <laughs> <laughs> Shake your ass for me. I love I that think, song. You know what I mean? I just think, I don't know, like, so a lot of some of these, you know, Nicki Minaj and Cardi P. Cardi um, I just think it's Pete all a bit... Nicki Minaj went out years ago. Really? We, had a, we came into our wedding to Nicki Minaj. It's the oh. filth that comes out of that girl's mouth. Well, no, I just, I just find it unbelievable. I, like, I know, I love I mean, getting but it's old. It's a sign of the times, isn't it? It's, you know, is, it, is, it, it, is it seen as liberating? Well, I suppose if you think about it, females... Like, it's like Dre and Snoop and all that back in the day. It was yeah, that was that was feel quite filth as well, wasn't it? Yeah, but they're cool. <laughs> I'm Megan the Stallion. Filthy, co filthy cool. <laughs> no, but it, it's like when you listen to like all the old country music, and it's like, darling, I love you. Yeah, and it's so romantic, and yeah. you know, like we're talking to my nan, where they used to go to dances and court each other, and it was all very above board and not our shenanigans. No, no. I, I shudder to no, think no wet gonna... pussy in, the, in those days was there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so. I don't mind it, but I just think the language is a bit like, it's getting played on the radio. Yeah, but it is a sign of getting old when you're complaining about, you know, Drake's lyrics and the next breath going, babe, come look at this bird in the garden. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm definitely getting old. Just sort of the blue tears. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bird in the garden as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cover that up, it's freezing. <laughs> we, I, I, you, but I, I feel like we're, we're saying we're all old too much. Lately. I know, I said that to you earlier because, like, obviously, I, think I get it, it. Do you know what makes it worse? Think, it's all this is... technology, AI, and all that. It's making me feel. Getting into AI now. <laughs> no, it's. What's your problem with AI? My, I haven't, well, apart from the obvious. What is the obvious? There's loads of, well, it can he be fakes. dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a, you know, it's 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 a great invention as well. However, do you know what I think is amazing? I mean, old, old people who don't understand what AI is just yeah. start a conversation. You could just yeah, go, it's, it's... God, that AI, it's gonna be, <laughs> that's going to be dangerous. That. <laughs> but no idea how. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> no idea how it's going to be dangerous. But <laughs> I mean, that's gonna that's gonna change the world. <laughs> Fucking no clue how. Don't ask me how, but it, but it is. <laughs> It can. It well, I'm sure it will. There's no going back, though. There's no, that's the other one. Like, <laughs> people have no clue about it. There's no going back now. We can't take it back. <laughs> so true. But we can't. That's a fact. Yeah, but what? Take what back? Take the invention. Take the hell is it? Back. <laughs> take the invention back. Can't. But like, what? What? My my issue on AI, right? This is an amazing podcast. This because. That we haven't got a clue what we're talking about. My issue is like, what is it? A computer? 
Or is it one like one AI put, like artificial say, robot? In- intelligence? It's called. <laughs> For what? It's artificial intelligence. <laughs> what, what is it? So though? it's mimicking the human. It's computer generated brain, yeah. brain, body, and soul. <laughs> <laughs> It is. These things have got emotions now. Mm. Have they? Can you please not use that language? It's offensive. <laughs> Oi, Alexa, do one. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> wonder what Alexa would say, like, if you if you told it to grow up. Because there's no comeback as a human. But, but but as an AI, it could be interesting, couldn't it? Yeah, Try I could, it. What, so I've got say Siri, Siri here. I don't even like to do Siri. Your Siri isn't activated because mine isn't. How do you do it? Fuck knows. Hey, Siri. Yours isn't activated. <laughs> Yours is definitely no, it not is activated. I, pr- I, keep, I do it by Siri? mistake all the time. It's on. What button? Here you go. Here you go. Grow up, Siri. What? You have to put your volume on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's on silent. Great start. <laughs> Siri's like that. <laughs> well, is that clever? It'd fucking talk louder, wouldn't it? <laughs> go on. Hey, Siri, grow up. Loads of tunes there. <laughs> I'm telling you to grow up, Siri. Sounds like you wanted to have a fight with him then. How come you've got a boy, Siri? What, is it, is it not usually boy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what you just said? Uh, is there not usually boy? <laughs> oh, he's what, recovering. Give him a break. <laughs> Give him a break. <laughs> I don't use Siri, as you can <laughs> see. I, the first time I knew I had a boy, Siri. Uh, but I know what you mean about the getting old thing. I was looking at the Glaster lineup yesterday. Don't you dare say you're getting old during your twenties. I know, but I was like, I don't recognise half of these. Who's that S Z A? Do you mean Scissor? Like, who's that S Z A? Who's that S Z A? I love Scissor. That's why I called her early. I thought she was. She was. Really She's one good. of the reasons I want to go. Scissor. Really good. I don't know oh, really? Good. Oh, great songs. Good singer. Abby, did you only want for Pete? Um, yeah, just about the, being a bad patient. It's it's so worrying. You're the you know you're the leader of our family. We can't have you being sick. And in order to get better, you have to do what you're told and listen to me. <laughs> Stay in bed, rest. You know you've been desperate for a day off, and you get one because you're ill. And you. <laughs> you hear that? Sorry. What was that? Made an involuntary noise. <laughs> You've been desperate for time off. You've been working so hard. And the second you can, you know, just get in bed and relax and get on your mat. I felt like it was taking a piss a bit. You know, it was like it was like one day, okay, two days, okay, like third days. Five days. Cabin fever. I thought oh, I was like, Yeah. This is no good now. I like to be up and at them. Which is a good thing, I think, isn't it? Oh yeah. I don't want to be like housebound. Housebound's a bit strong. I was housebound, I wasn't I? <laughs> you sound like a pensioner. I know. <laughs> so wrong with them, honestly. It's not as if I was on my own either. Like, I'm not joking. I'm, I, I think you're actually better going to work. You know, there's 400 parcels turn up. I've noticed during the day, within probably every half an hour, you're up getting the doorbell. Abby's been rumbled on the aisle. Um, what's that all doing here? <laughs> Metaphor. Yeah. You've seen how many things are turning up. No, do you know what's in them boxes? Giant bloody Harry bows for the party. Gl- pink glittery cowboy hats. Um, heart-shaped sunglasses. The old no. diamond ring. What's your problem? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. From Netta Porter. <laughs> <laughs> Funny old Harry bows them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so th- that's my wine. I just want you to take your health a little bit that. more no, serious. And I, and I am, I am taking it seriously now. Mm. Not messing about because we love you lots, and you have yeah. to be healthy. Should we cheers to that then? Cheers to that. Yeah. Why have we got a beer in a wine glass? These are actually non-alcoholic Coronas. They're right, aren't they? Yeah, because you know I don't want you drinking while you're not 100. percent Yeah. So cheers to that. Touche. Can't off of any of them. Okay. I'm going to get into some audience wines, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. Hi, Abby, Pete, and Ross. Uh, I'm originally from the UK and I love listening to the show from Queensland, Australia. Oh, uh, dream. <laughs> four of the buggers. <laughs> uh, and I look forward to me drive from work <laughs> on a Wednesday morning and I'll listen to your podcast. <laughs> the English? Oh, no, I'm sorry, the English. <laughs> They've only moved to. <laughs> Gary from Burnley. Oh. <laughs> Gary from Burnley. 
Uh, okay, so I'll go back to English then now. Uh, my wine uh, is that I told my partner, Carl, about your pod, and in particular, Shabba, which he thought was <gasps> hilarious. You shabbered me? Uh, yeah, I did. I have shabbered her. <laughs> You've been shabbering me loads? Yeah, there's a few shabbers. Is so left right and <laughs> You haven't been that sick then, Pete? <laughs> you loved it as well. I've been around the house for a while. So I mean, I, I, I I've had naked... more time on my hands. <laughs> Not uh, the only thing on your hands. I, I, you did a naked shabba, which is totally out of bounds. Is that is that a no, is that a no go? It's a bit invasive, isn't it? Yeah, naked shabba. <laughs> well, I just I'm like <laughs> <laughs> that was the best reaction I got so far. The naked shabba. I don't condone it. Yeah, I don't. I don't really condone really it. Was. Apologies for that. Okay, I'm getting you back. Okay. Uh, which he thought was hilarious. He started doing this wherever we are, which makes me wish I'd kept my mouth shut. Much to my dismay, he has uh, also now uh, turned this into a boob grab and shouts, Shuba. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for that. Oh my Shuba. God. Uh, I'll keep quiet in the future. Sam, Queensland. I don't like a boob grab. No. That's- no. Shuba. You much prefer to figure out your house for Jeff. No. No, none of the above. However, no, but a boob grab's like painful. Is it? It's not nice. But a shabba's okay. Or it's just, it's, it's a... It's a bit more comical a shabba, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like a boob yeah, grab's it a bit weird. Yeah. Boob grab's weird. A bit strange. Sounds like a right pervert. <laughs> He's having fun, isn't he? He's enjoyed himself. Okay, got another one here. My weekly wine is about how fucking good they make chocolate taste. I'm a oh. curvy girl, 14 to 16 range, and currently girl. have two two loves in my life. Rio, my three-year-old Pomeranian. <laughs> I thought you took about Ferdinand. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Pomeranian. And Cadbury's chocolate. I got Ibiza booked uh, with my model-sized girlfriends who eat whatever they want and look fit as fuck all year round. If only they could make chocolate bars taste like veg and I'd be the envy of all my friends' eyes. Also, Ab, I love you, hun, uh, but don't tell me you know how I feel. You are squarely in the same category as my jammy bitch best mates. (laughs) (laughs) Love you all. Quite enjoyed that one. It's a nice, nicely wrote email. Rio the Pomeranian. It's hilarious. That's your takeaway from that. <laughs> uh, well, who doesn't like chocolate? Who doesn't? You like chocolate, but you're not, you're not like overboard on it, are you? I'm more Bicky. I'm you more like Bicky cake. Yeah. I've oh, just got these unbelievable biscuits. Go on. Those, um... The round like, things. They're like tubes. Little tubey oh, kind. Like what you'd have with a coffee? Yeah. Oh, but not, not without the chocolate and they're not made out of wafer. I don't know what they're called. They're from M&S. But they are They are phenomenal. good. They're like sugar coated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what one she's talking about. They come oh. in like a big tin. No, yeah. they're not in a tin. They, they can do, but these ones are actually in a box. Or... No, they're not like, they're not them coffee ones with the chocolate in. No, no, no. They're I'm not them. them. I'm thinking they're almost like, yeah, they're like, a, yeah, I know it's what like one a... you are talking about. It's not Trisha's one, but yeah. It's like crispy as well. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm more of a, See, I love chocolate, but it has to be cold. Oh, yeah, I put mine in the freezer. It's got to be cold. I bought you flakes the other day, did you say? Yeah, yeah. Kids demolish them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found myself unwrapping them. I knew they were for me. I was unwrapping them for the kids. Yeah, I, th- I think, you know, going back to saying that, I think, you know, genetics has a lot, a big part to play. You yeah, know, like some people have to, if they want to eat chocolate all the time, have to work out. Yeah. Everyone's different, aren't they? You know, and if you enjoy chocolate, go for it, don't they? That sounds pretty ideal to me. Kevs, a palm, uh, Rio the Palm, and chocolate. Tick, tick, What's your own about? <laughs> Living the dream, man. Live, and go and she's on a way to yeah. Yeah. That's she not do... a wine. That's, that's not a wine. That's a humble brag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you live it. You live it. Uh, okay, little tip for Abby. My husband has our Amazon account, <laughs> similar to us. Uh, I, like you, don't have one. I kept getting pissed that he'd forgot to order the stuff I sent him. So he's managed to link me to his account and I can order mm. via my phone, but he still pays. Winner, winner. Get the builder to set it up on Cardi P's phone. <laughs> As if he would <laughs> the builder does everything. Like. <laughs> yeah. Just, Lee was fuming that. He's like, you keep talking about me on the podcast and calling me the builder. <laughs> Instead of Lee. He's on, he's on his way, Lee, actually. Is he? Can he set up the Amazon account? Well, no, because I've asked him to set up them bloody lights on the island for about two years. On the what? On the island, they just keep breaking. Oh, I thought you said on the island. No. <clears throat> oh, right. Okay. Yeah, well, that, that'd be good because like, 
I am involved in a lot of Amazon stuff, aren't yeah, it's I? It's like when Pete's trying to get a World Book Day costume, <laughs> morning of World Book Day. We had, we had murder over that, actually. Well, it was hard to get the books that weren't books. What books so, were you doing? Well, they want to, They just want to go whatever they want. Lilo so and Stitch. Like, was Paw it? Patrol. Johnny went to um, Stitch mm. and Jack wanted to be Spider-Man. So you got to find a kind of Spider-Man book and a... Which obviously, they're, they're magazine, not, maybe. pretty it's books, are they? They're comics. Yeah. Or films. So it was quite hard, believe it or not, to find. I did get one. Loads of the Lilo and Stitch stuff's in French. Are they, is it a French... Thing. I don't know. Couldn't believe it. I was like, <laughs> Lilo is. Yeah, it was bitch. all. It was, like, it was, I, I, I was, Lilo is. I almost bitch. bought him a French book. On vacation. Say that again. On vacation. What is it? I don't know. Vacation. What's a vacation French? Why can't I think of that? Huh? Bueno, en español se dice vacación. Cash in the bank. Mm, but French. Um, no idea. So yeah, a lot of a lot of Lilo and Stitch stuff is French. I think it must be a French. Lilo and Stitch, je joue au tennis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lilo and Stitch play tennis. I'm impressed. Thomas is good as you German. Pretty good, babe. So we get we keep getting people writing in asking us how we manage to keep the spark alive after so many years, mm. how to prevent our relationship going stale, how to spice up your love life. So I think that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, I mean, we're experts. I mean, ours is spicy. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, unbelievably spicy, isn't it? Mm. And I think we got some good advice here. I mean, I've, I've noted a load down. Okay. Um, with your help. Yeah. Uh, first one is uh, trying new activities together, mm. like cooking classes, rock climbing. Um, rock climbing? <laughs> You're scared of heights? I'd absolutely hate that. Jordan took a girl on a first date for rock climbing, didn't he? I think doing things together is See? is important. You know, like going to the gym and, you know, we do that together, don't we? And... Mm. Mm. Well, Pete does it with me and all the mums from school. Mum, bum, bums and toms. <laughs> you love it though? I don't mind it, yeah. I get so mum, embarrassed though. I get so embarrassed when like Pete's, like bloody Sheila's lifting more weights than Pete. Drives me mad. I'm like, Pete, what's the so fucking... Pete's like that with 10k. 10k, like that. Five, anything. Absolutely not true. Just the bar. Just the bar. The worst thing is with that, I've right when the gym. This bar's 20k. Honestly, without any weight on it. I've got a bar, 10 and 10, and Pete's like that with just the bar. I'm like, Pete. It's just embarrassing. That is our complete bullshit, right? You've got perfect form, though, Pete. Let me tell you, I'm in the gym, right? It's incredible. (laughs) I'm in the gym. Oh, she's telling me what I'm doing wrong the whole time, right? But I can't breathe because I'm working hard. I'm like, if you can just stand there and talk for, for as long, you're not working no, hard No, you, ca- you can't talk because... Because you... I'm working hard. No, Pete. I'm working hard in there Pete, and you're my... going, God, so you're standing there with a bottle of water going, oh, God, you know, you're not doing that right. Full face of makeup on. What are you <laughs> doing? Not a bead, the sweat dripping off her. Oh, oh God. What are you doing? I'm not like that in the gym. Oh, you are, you know. You, you, you've got yourself down okay. as this gym bunny, right? <laughs> and you're like, don't even like, you've got to oh, need to get a bottle of water. You miss after class. Bull. You do. Shit. You do. You know, we discuss this on the gym when we go to you the gym. You work hard when you're doing it, but there's lots of breaks. No, there isn't. I no, don't that's take not fair. any breaks. The only time I do have a break is when um, I have to do a single front lunge because of my knee. That's the only time. Got a bad knee. Yes. So yeah, guys, try new activities that can really help your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. At least I can pick and push mo- more weight than you that on the sled. Is, honestly, the, the, Matt, are you d- actually going to say this and be deadly serious I'm to our listeners? deadly serious. So you lift more weights than me. I don't lift more weights, but I push equal on the sled to you. On the sled, maybe. Which maybe. is the hardest thing. Yeah, but I go faster. You don't. Of course I do. I absolutely don't. You take about three days. I have to wait there. I missed half my go. You're so slow on that. Uh, you'll have to film it next time you go. I bloody will. <laughs> Honestly. Next, next tip to spice up your life. <laughs> So, guys, go to the gym together. It really gets that special bond. <laughs> Come on, the gym together. Really, connect, really connects you. <laughs> All right, then. This one's good. Role play. Exploring different roles and scenarios to add, add excitement into the bedroom. Yeah, that Viking outfit. Best thing I've ever bought. Mm. Yeah. For see Peter. me. I'll come back from the gym. 
Put that, you know, pump. <laughs> yeah. Get that mic in Come, come back from the gym, not being able to breathe because he's worked so hard. Good Ragnar over here. Yeah, unreal. <laughs> I'm not here out of place, back from the gym. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I actually am. I actually am. I'm not going to take this that you think I don't try hard in the gym. Do you, you try really you hard. laugh at these people. What? We, that's, we you, I, I, you, work, you work hard, but I'm saying it's like you work hard and, and have breaks. I do not. <laughs> leave this <laughs> <laughs> it's called can I just tell you why he thinks we have breaks because it's called switch so one does one does it and the other one watches them that's the why I'm having one, a fucking no, break it's two different this, you do you, you go you go on the bike or you go on like whatever the other activity is so you're, you're just consistently working that's why it's such a short class it's like bang 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 and if you've got the ability to talk through that means I don't I'm think you're, you? no it means you're not working hard enough okay in my opinion um, role play. I don't know if I could do role play. I think it's too awkward, isn't it? Pretending you're I like. I don't fuck. know. It could be exciting. I think it's good. It's one week of Abby being a nurse in the house, and now he's like, I think it could be quite exciting, actually. It's not the, ne- it's not the nurse that he's got in mind, though, when I come in with like <laughs> yeah. conditioner in my hair, the fleece dressing gown on, no makeup. Misery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know what? I'd like, I would like you to be. A nurse. That would be nice. What? So it's um, all right for you to say Viking, but it's not all right for me to say nurse. No, because yours is pervy. <laughs> yours Viking's not. You don't That's, fancy a Viking? <laughs> it's the difference between like men and women, I think. If you say something that you find attractive, you're a pervert. But if women say it, then they're not. It's like, no, that's not pervy. It's, I, I think that there's, there's double definitely standards a double there, standard. Piece, there is double standards, I'll what, say. What are you expecting a nurse to do to you? Check his what are you expecting about? What do you think about a Viking? What do you think about a Viking? Well, there you go then. Well, that, but why is that? Why is that? Okay. Carry me through the forest. <laughs> Did you say purge you? <laughs> but why is that okay? And and my my version because of... it's it's not. It, no, there's a no... Viking thing is not perverted. Why is it well, not? Though? It's the exact same. It's, it's the exact not, same. It's, it's like, like a fantasy. Like, what, like a little nice little granny nurse, like um, to help sick people in hospital. No, and you've got like one. some sick, <laughs> twisted spin on that? No, it's, yeah, but that's the same as a Viking. He's there to literally like slice heads off and stuff. And you're like, oh, give us a bit of that. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. sick as well. I'm not thinking of Vikings slicing heads off. Well, that's feet. what they do. They literally go into villages and freaking take them it's over. The USP. You know, they, they are literally I've never seen a Viking slice someone's head off in my life. You've never seen a Viking <laughs> slice someone's head off. Isn't that a bloody head? samurai? They, they have swords and they just slice people's heads off and take over the, the towns and cities. Yeah. That's literally what they do. That's the... I'm thinking of more Viking that, you know, rides... Builds boats and rides Rides horses a horse and... in a fair, no top on underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to talk you through my nurse? I'm no, thinking Absolutely, not. Not. <laughs> absolutely So why not. is it this double standard, you know, isn't I... it? Anyway, uh, try uh, <laughs> role play. <laughs> <laughs> it just connects that bond again. <laughs> just keeps things strong. <laughs> Going really well, this, isn't it? <laughs> oh, just God. cements that bond, that, that true love. <laughs> well, I, I saw something on Instagram today which said, you know, the meaning of true love is just, it's basically a friendship that is your, like your favourite friendship. And that, and that's like being in love, mm. and it's like the meaning of like friend is someone who makes you smile, someone who makes you feel safe, someone who in return makes you feel loved. Is that uh, am I those things for you? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> am I have to ask? Am I those things to you? Well, obviously. Uh, yeah. Are you do you mean that? Yeah. I'd say I don't I'd... feel as safe with you as I would a Viking. <laughs> well, but... I'll tell you what: you'd be very unsafe with a Viking because you could just turn around and chip your head off. <laughs> yeah. I've never... 100%. What's this obsession with Vikings? Vikings are aggressive are human beings. They're not. They are. <laughs> they Literally, are. like they are war. They're, they're the army, basically. They are, they're sent out to war I'm to Google conquer. What Vikings are famous they co- for? They're conquering like I bet you're lands. Pillaging comes up first. Don't say that. The Vikings are mostly known for their relentless pillaging. Chop people's heads off and burn down villages. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like that's what I'm saying. But he's not going to burn my. 
heard of. How do you know? You'd be <laughs> much safe. What I'm saying is, you said you'd feel safe with a Viking. I because he'd, he'd be, be my boyfriend. Well, he'd be. He'd probably be dead. Number one, in what, within a year, they he'd don't be away. Kill their own girlfriends. He'd be away for about five years at a time. And was... So you'd be on your own. So how how would you be any? How would you be safer? He wouldn't yeah, be there. I'm not going to marry. A man you who's going to cut my own head off. If you marry a Viking, he's going to go to sea for five years, right? And leave you on your own in a, a village. At, whereas I'm here by your side. Fucking fighting, moaning in bed. Fighting for you. Temperature. <laughs> it's bath. It's rum bath. <laughs> You're much safer with me. I'm telling you that right now. You can shove your Viking up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, you fucking pervert. So, what do you think about love being a a friendship? No, I do. I do think that like it's it's so important to be friends first, and I think we are. I think like I get on great with you, and I there's no one I'd rather be with than than you. Like I'm talking about just on a day to day basis. I think we have a laugh together. I think you know I value your opinion on things. I think you're intelligent. You've got Good conversation. Your um, good conversation. As we've been talking about is shavering. Yeah, but you know that's the kind of stuff I like heads. to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and listen, we all have a laugh and a joke on this podcast, but you can go, you can be deep as well. You can be, you know, it's not just all fun, is it? You're multifaceted, you have. Yeah, there's lots. There's lots of strings to your bow. You're not. Not just a pretty face. And yeah, you can be a pain in the ass at times, but <laughs> you've got lots of qualities that um, that people want to be around. And that's why lots of people want to be your friend. And that's why I want to be your boyfriend. <laughs> that's me. That was very nice, Pete. That was. What are you after? No, no. <laughs> I know he's going to hit me with... It's Sophia's party tomorrow. I know he's going to say, do you mind if I go to golf in the morning before the party? <laughs> That's what's coming, isn't it? I didn't it? thought that. Well, but now you say it. But you can't. <laughs> you can't anyway, because I'm taking it to get an Elston. I, 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 when do I play golf on Saturday? But you could. But I never do. I know, but you could have. <laughs> but I think it's family time, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We've seen another one here. Doing DIY projects together. Uh, collaborating on DIY projects can foster teamwork and intimacy. How would you feel about that? Taking a piss. <laughs> Are you thinking like pottery making? Yeah. Naked pottery making? Naked like pottery? Like ghost. Yeah. yeah. Like ghost. Mm. Just get behind you on the on the, uh, on the, the chit on the stool. Yeah. <laughs> What's the uh, song? Oh, my, my darling. My darling. I'm hungry for your touch. I um, I don't really want you anywhere near DIY. I, I he was fuming with me. Like, I just went to um Andrew Martin, and I got all these pictures for the kitchen. Yeah, which are just gorgeous, like kind of old rustic frames, mm -hmm. bit of color for the kitchen, changing the vibe a little bit. And I'm just asking Pete to hold them up in like situ so I can see them. And he gets it right. Come on. <laughs> So like, I'm trying to watch my chair. <laughs> Hold it up for one second. You can't make a decision in one second. The match is on, right? I've been taken out of my seat and I'm holding these pictures in the situation. <laughs> and it's like, hi, hello, you know, and I'm try trying to just watch the game. I'm standing there like a lemon holding <laughs> pictures. And um, it was slightly frustrating, yeah. Mm. But they look great. You know? mm. Are you going to keep them? Yeah, but I need more. Oh, okay. Always. I'm going to do a whole wall. Mm. Yeah, they look, it looks good. Mm. I like it. Nice. Um, doing something naked together. Doing random things naked is always more fun. It doesn't have to be sex, but you can go for a dip in a pool or cooking in the kitchen. I wouldn't like to cook naked. No. Must be for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Leave yourself open for a shower, baby. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the naked thing. You've done that before. You cooked a dinner once, didn't you? Did I? I can't remember that. When we met Amanda Holden, she said the same thing. She, she did a full roast dinner naked once, didn't she? Mm. I'm not prudish. I'm I'm naked quite a lot, aren't I? To be honest. You are, yeah. I so don't like... keep wandering around the house naked, which is a thing. Spice up your life. <laughs> <laughs> no. You she don't... just hammers me. She just hammers me. Every time I'm fucking getting changed, you're like, she's like fucking laughing at me. <laughs> No, because I laugh at your. I'm not laughing at you. I'm, I oh, just, it feels like it. I, <laughs> I laugh at. I laugh at your kind of 
mannerisms and actions. Like you just do certain... Naked mannerisms. Naked mannerisms. You do certain things. That tickle you. And it makes you laugh. You take your clothes off, it's like (laughs) you you want wife's laugh again. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking great that, isn't it? (laughs) No, because it's not that. Like when me and Sophia are in bed, we can just see you bent over like trying to take your bloody undies off. What do you want me to do? And then bending over, we can just see a a, a full moon in the mirror (laughs) while you're getting your shorts out the bottom drawer. Like, that's comical. Jeez, I've just seen the dark side of the mirror. <laughs> the problem with that, right, there's an angle and it's like a dark, it's a triple mirror situation so I just don't know where I am with it all. And yeah. and you can tell in your mannerisms because you're a bit like... Yeah, I'm a bit tense. nervous. <laughs> well, now you're all like you're worrying me about my, you know... Oh, my two kongs and a hanky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know. No, I'm not laughing at you. I love seeing you naked. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, volunteering together. Seeing the compassionate and caring side of your partner can be very attractive. I agree with that. Mm, I think it's a big thing to be said about volunteering. Me too. What was the word, sorry? Volunteering. What does that mean? <laughs> volunteering? To, to volunteer. You never heard that word? Well, I know we volunteer. It's like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, to like help out like a soup kitchen or something like that or like charity work. Oh, right. To, to volunteer. Okay. Like, I, was, I was thinking it was some sort of like... <laughs> Thing volunteering or what? How is that? Well, I mean, you know, that's not just a nice thing to do, isn't it? Like, yeah. And if I just think that's just being nice, like if yeah. I did something nice, you'd go, "Ah, oh, great, that that's my husband. I'm proud of him." Yeah. And I think volunteering is just one. <laughs> that's just one section of being nice, isn't it? Yeah. Being a nice human being. I think everyone should be a nice human being. Mm. But uh, we like doing that kind of thing, like when we take like the food to the dogs' home and all of that. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah they're, 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 they're things, I think, certainly when you're in a privileged position like we are, you know, it's nice to give give back to people that are kind of less fortunate at times. Mm. Right, so I, th- I think this stuff's really, really helping everyone. <laughs> <laughs> really I don't think we've bottom. argued more. <laughs> ever. It's supposed <laughs> to be advice. <laughs> I love, you know, and you know that. Don't you? So I don't, I, uh, you can't just say that on camera. You have what? to prove it. I have to prove it. What have you? I've said lots of nice things about you. It's one thing about me. Peter, the full speech. Oh, speech. You just looked at, you just watched me do it and then went, <laughs> Thanks, what's buddy. the next one, Ross? <laughs> 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 Love's a two way street. Actions speak louder than words. Well, I just, I just it's explained how much I love you. Okay, why. the power of laughter. All right, here we go. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> the power of laughter. I love you because you make me laugh. Okay. Well, that's good. Especially when you're getting changed. Yeah. <laughs> I never laugh more. Completely <laughs> naked. I don't laugh at you when you're naked. I just laugh at when you're getting undressed for bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that okay? Is that, is, that, is that okay? No, laughter's a huge part of a, a successful relationship. Well, definitely, yes. Yeah. You've got to have interest, the, haven't you? It's the main ingredient. Imagine being with someone really boring. You're like, I love him, but he's so boring. The thing is, though, there is loads of boring people out there to Why, get so in many. relationships. So many, I can't. Do you get about, it. you know, with the boring people. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they get about. They do. They do. I, I actually can't believe how many mm. boring people there are. I know. Oh, Unlucky. There, there is so many around. God. They, but they I reckon at times you'd, at times, it has crossed your mind to go, oh God, I'd love a boring, quiet wife. Yeah, that's true. At times. There are times. Of, there are times. But. But, but I, I, in the main, I'd much prefer you, you know, lively and fun. <laughs> lively. And funny. Lively. <laughs> it's one way to put me. <laughs> no, it's good, you know. I'm like, like that puppy that no one chooses. Why? Like the mad like one. No, not the runt. <laughs> They're like the mental one. <laughs> you always avoid that one, don't you? Yeah. It's a bit highly strung, that one. Yeah. <laughs> a bit brash. <Exactly. laughs> no, laughter is... De- and I, I think making an effort to make your partner laugh is key. Well, I think, I think we've definitely got that one ticked. Mm. I think we make each other laugh, which is very important. Mm. A huge part of it, I think. Yeah. Like most of my life is spent around me engineering ways to laugh. Yeah. It's genuinely like how I've got through life. I think it's so, like to me, it's the most important thing. Like Smiling and laughing is literally like releases endorphins. It makes you a 
be a better person. It's, it makes you... I think I it's, 100% agree. What are you laughing at? I think it's hugely important. Do you? Yeah. You know, kind of, a lot of our life is kind of engineered. It's like, you go to work and then thankfully we laugh at work as well, but you, know, you go to work so you can have fun on the weekend and have a laugh. That's mm. what it's about, isn't And especially it? in a relationship, I think one of the, I love laughing exactly for myself, but one of the best feelings is making someone else laugh as well. Mm. I think, or like, do you know what I mean? When you're with someone, you oh, really make man. them giggle. Really make them laugh. It's, it's a great thing. And yeah, yeah, just, yeah. everyone just feels great when they're doing it. And I just think... I don't was... think I make that many people laugh, don't Oh God, you do. do. You are funny. But like, I, the way I... What like... country's laughing at you? <laughs> 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 but so many people are in those relationships where they're like, oh, it's like, oh, go home. See a miserable face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. Like, and, and, and the other way as well, you know, like, mm. oh God, he's so boring. You know, and being in that kind of relationship is, I think it'd be difficult. Mm. I agree. What about if they were like a, a unicorn hotness there? But so boring. Well, that's, I mean, that's usually the case, isn't it? That's yeah, why like you are an anomaly. You really are because you are a 10 out of 10 looking, but you're also, you know, very entertaining to be around. <laughs> Um, so you're also you, a six out of ten funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got that mental scale as well, though. It's just ten out. Jack of 10. said my um, shepherd's pie the other day. I made was um, six out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven out of ten, really. Isn't it? uh, it's a yeah. big compliment. Exactly. <laughs> His father's son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're good at maths. Bad. I, I can do level year four. I think to round this up, I think. Another major part of spicing up your love life is to be touchy-feely with your partner. Kiss them, hug them, hold their hands, be tactile. You know, you can't just kind of repel them for 23 hours a day and then get them to bed together and go, why does that person want to have sex with me? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or you have to like kiss and cuddle them all day, I think. Yeah. And hold Don't hands. Don't just shabber either. Just like, you know, it's about touching and yeah, hugging. Yeah, I think so. Little kisses. You know, even even when you walk out the door, it's like, you've got to kiss goodbye. It'd be nice to have a snug when you leave for work and come back, wouldn't it? Instead of just a, shut that door behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got them shoes on, have you? Shapes <laughs> <laughs> mad all through this hall. <laughs> Told you. Side door. Utility. <laughs> But you know what kiss. I mean? Yeah. Like a nice, like the movies. Like the movies. I think those, yeah, just a little kiss goodbye. Those little things, they, they make a difference. Mm. Oh, those little in things. Yeah, remember you said that you when you should drive over the viaduct or something like that, mm. you'd always have a peck or something, wouldn't you? Mm. If you'd have like a little in joke. snog. Do you remember it's the graffiti that said snog on it? So yeah. we always had a, a kiss. And we still do it. Even I just, the I just think gone. being tactile every day throughout the day helps yeah. the longevity of a relationship. Certainly does. Well said. Well said, Miguel. All right. Since we're helping uh, everyone on this podcast, could we help them with some some agony abs? Perhaps. Let's go. Hi, Abby and Peter. Firstly, I want to say I absolutely love the pod. Um, you keep me going on the mind numbing car journeys from work and walking around at work. I absolutely binge listened to all the pods in the last few weeks. This one is to do with the wife and the dreaded TikTok. When we go up to bed, I'm trying to initiate the good old bonk beats. It's absolutely impossible while he's on that stupid addicting app. She just doesn't let me in, doesn't give me anything back. Yet, if she was to do this and, and I was not to give anything back, she would get annoyed. When we do finally initiate the good old bonking of the beats, uh, I've finished up down. It's hard to read. And I've finished up down there. I've finished up down there. Finished up down there. Oh. Oh, God. And I've finished up there uh, and pleased the missus with the good old muscle relaxer. The hell is that? She jumps straight back I'm on TikTok. She, she jumps straight back on TikTok within minutes. Any idea how to approach this? Any advice would be uh, greatly appreciated. Mitchell from a non Sin City. Non Sin City? I think Mitchell. Needs to go to literacy class. Because he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's struggling with his writing there. Um, I, I, I'd get this because you're, not, you're never off your phone. And this is a problem that is a genuine problem. That I, I, yeah, I, I, I agree. It's it's not great. But to be honest, when you've got a busy life and four kids, when you get into bed, it's like time to I don't think there's do any your excuse. emails. I, but I, I don't think there's any excuse for it at all. 
I think you should do what the kids, we try and get the kids to do is like leave your phone downstairs and like put it on charge. And yeah. like, it's just, it's a huge problem. Mm. And it's like, you, you're never off it. So you're never off your phone. So then like, even when you, t- you try and talk and you just kind of give up, mm-hmm. you're just not listening at all. So I get it. I get it totally. It's not, it's a real but, bad, bad for the relationship. Did I hear you guys saying the other day that when your neck go away, you're going to take the Sims out your phone? Is that yeah, you guys? I, yeah. would, I would do that. I don't think you could do it. We're having a it. digital detox. Yeah, but I, I, I don't believe that when I see it. No way. The only thing I'm going to do is take pictures mm. of the kids, not of me. What, your, your answer to this question always is like, I, I've got stuff to do. Like, mm. We've always got stuff to do. Everyone has. It's like, when you, in the old days, you used to do what, you go to work, you finish at five and you work at work and then you come home and do something else. Like these phones, you're just 24 that, that's hours. that's very, not for everybody, for you. Yeah, but I think that's the way you should live life. I don't, I disagree with people that are constantly on their phone. I don't know what you, you know, you, you, yeah, no, you no, kind of surround yourself with people that you love and don't speak to them. You speak to people that no, I, I, are, are, aren't your mates. You just he said there's a phone in his hand. <laughs> no, because I'm just showing you what, oh, what, what you do. You know, I am. Like that, yeah, like yeah, yeah, constantly. Yeah. And it's no, like I, you, you have a conversation to the back of a phone all I, day. I agree. But, the, you know, when I go to bed, it is time. Like, it's quiet. Yeah. And I've got my things so I can think. I'm not rushing. Mm, distracted. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I agree. I think there should be a, a, a no phone policy in bed. Okay, let's fire into the next one. Uh, hey, Abby and Pete, my agony ab isn't related to my romantic relationship, but to my parents. I'm hoping you guys can still help. My parents both retired within the past five years and I've always spoken about one day they would love to emigrate once they did potentially to Spain. All my life, I've waited for them to hurry up and retire so I could book in my free holes to the Costa del Sol with sangria in one hand, and preferably a Spanish hunk i.e. Ross, in the other. Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> However, things have changed and I'm now settled with my new husband who is more Costa del Cambridge than Costa del Sol. Mm-hmm. But hey-ho, we, mo- hey ho, we move. Uh, we have our beautiful six-year-old daughter Izzy and another on the way. Oh. All good up to now, right? Well, it was until my parents visited us last weekend and casually let slide that they have found their place in the sun and will soon be putting their house up to market. I'll be honest, my initial reaction to this wasn't great. I I felt really hurt that they had gone through this whole process without so much as mentioning to me. Uh, They were making their pipe dream a reality. As well as the fact they they think of doing this uh, when I'm literally about to have their second grandchild in the next few months. I also feel like they're going to miss so much of my children's upbringing, which is the best time when you want your granny and granddad around. I'm very close to my parents and it hurts me knowing that it's so easy for them just to up sticks and leave. My brother, who has no children, thinks I'm being selfish and tainting what should be a lovely closing chapter of my mum and dad's life, which mm-hmm. I also feel guilty for. I hope you can see where I'm coming from, though, and share some of your agony ab wisdom. Laura from Edinburgh. Ooh, it's a tough one. Mm-hmm. I can see both sides. G- grandparents aren't what they used to be, <laughs> in my opinion. What an amazing it's, quote. It's a bit odd to, like, I think on their side, though, not to, if you're selling a house, that's a big thing, isn't it? Like, if you, Nobody Nobody, mentioned it. Yeah, you, that's odd, isn't it? But I, I think also, like, when you get to that age, like, you've kind of done, you've brought up your children, they've, mm. they're leading their lives, they're going on, they've got their husbands and Technically wives. Technically don't need to. They, they, they've got, now they've, they've kind of got their lives back and they, I feel like they should be able to enjoy it. I'm hoping that we do that one day. I'm still going to be there for but my I'm kids, not obviously. Leave my kids. Well, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to know. No, that. I just think you've got to live your dreams, haven't you? And like, you haven't got long left. And, you know, you've dedicated your life to those children and you just set them up for a great life. And of course, you want them to visit you over there. Laura's like thinking, shit, two kids on my own. Yeah, I need yeah. help, yeah. which I also get. But, well, I think obviously in my family, like if someone was going to sell the house, it'd be a big discussion yeah, and everyone would be sense. talking about it. You know, I'd, I find it odd that they wouldn't tell their f- kids that they're not selling their home. But they might know that she was might have tried to talk them out of it or something like that. It's easier to do something once you've committed than saying yeah. like she might have gone, "Don't do that. It's a terrible idea." Blah blah blah. Mm. Then you talk I I know what I'd be like if you if my mom and dad just went right. I just want to want to go and do this. Yeah. I'd, I'd be, you'd be like, "Go for it." I would be. You've done the job. You've done your job at that point. You've done, you? done your job, and yeah, you're not there just to babysit now, sitting in a pissing down rain. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mm. 
And I, I hope what our kids are like that one day. Like, yeah, go, go for it. That'd be great. Yeah, but we, we, I think they will. We've got a big family, haven't we? You know. The thing got, is, is like, I, obviously, you're, I know you're going to be very much going to want to be around for the grandkids, aren't you? Yeah. Hopefully one day. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the same as well, but hopefully we'll be able to kind of get away more and do stuff. I don't mm. know if I could live abroad. Mm. Oh, I could. Do you probably do no, I place? could, but I'd, if you had grandkids and kids in England, yeah, they, yeah, they could, you'd just, miss them too they could much. just come over. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. She needs to think of the free holidays she can go on. Kids sent to Spain for the six weeks holidays, laughing. Oh, as if. Yeah, as if. Yeah, Somewhere I understand. Say. It's it's going to be it's going to be harder, and obviously, if you like, she's probably really close to her mum, as she said here, and she probably wants you know mum around for. Baby. I think it's kind of it's almost like a grieving process, isn't it? When someone mm. like packs up and leaves, she's obviously does feel hurt and is thinking, oh God, what am I going to do without her? But I think deep down, she will eventually come round to, guys, live your life. You know, yeah. you're older, you've brought us up, go and enjoy yourself. It's, 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 it's not Australia either. It's yeah, like two it's and a half hours away, you know. And you've spoken about it for years by the sound mm. of things. Like, you've got to it's just, a dream, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, I, I look at the positives, I think. Your mum and dad are going to be really happy and you can go over there. Yeah. With the kids. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it all together. All right. Hey, guys. Hoping you can both help me out with this one. Uh, I'm hoping you have experienced similar issues in the past. Long story short, it's my fella. God, I love him. Perfect in almost every way. Almost. Apart from one thing. He's a bit clingy. <laughs> I, like you two, love being around my other half. And we spend most, if not all, our free time together. We're at an age where most of our friends are couple friends. We work long hours, so seeing each other in the evenings is our only time to connect, really. And on the weekends, we try and do at least one fun date together. However, I'm of the uh, opinion that being together doesn't have to be me being together 24-7. Sometimes I'm happy just knowing he's in the same house as me, and I don't need to be at the other end of the couch trying to give me a foot rub, knowing full well where that will lead. I'm starting to feel like he can't be away from me for Why does more. every... Right, everyone who writes in, do, every female doesn't want to have sex with her husband. <laughs> and every husband, what is going on? Crazy. And Crazy. Has, <laughs> and has little to no boundaries when it comes to personal space. Every time I turn around, he seems to be there lurking <laughs> like a weird creeping Jesus. <laughs> Even when I'm doing my makeup before a night out, he insists on getting ready first so he can sit at the end of the bed gabbing my ear off while I'm trying... <laughs> I'm trying to work on my contour game. <laughs> it's a nice problem to have, I know, and I'm only having a laugh, but really, I need, I need my personal space. How can I get him to back off uh -huh. without hurting his feelings and potentially leaving me? Jade. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> so funny. Are these young? I don't know. That Jade's is, quite a young name. Oh, God, that is funny, that. That is funny. Just imagine him like a little puppy lad. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing now, babe? Play babe. with me, play with me. <laughs> I think it's cute. I'd quite like a clingy guy. Mm. Oh, God. Hey, what do you you wouldn't. Like, that would piss you off massively. If I imagine I was getting ready first, then I was on the end of bed just like... You do get ready waiting. first and just hang around while I'm doing my makeup. I don't hang around in the bedroom. You do. Do I? Yeah. Oh, what, if we're in a room together? Yeah. Not in the house. Would you describe Peter as super clingy? No. No, I wouldn't get that impression. Or vice versa. You're probably more clingy, yeah. Do you think I'm clingy? Uh, yeah. You don't you like to just have me there <laughs> at all times. Don't have to speak to me. But you just like, <laughs> you need to know where I am. Because I'm scared in the house on my own. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's hilarious, to be honest. I think that's cute. Yeah. How do you go about kind of telling him to back off a little bit? Because you know what's going to happen? It's going to explode. She's going to go, will you fuck, fuck off. off? Yeah. And he's going to go, what? people tell people you. to fuck off no, in a like, serious capacity. She will blow, though. She will, I think, blow and go like, fuck off. <laughs> she should flip it and be like, why don't you go down the pool? See, mate, you haven't seen Dave for a while. Go down the pool. Like, make sure she's doing him a favour, but she's doing his benefit. Yeah. Have a night out with the lads. Go on. You go and take up golf. Yeah. Mm. That takes all day. I like you being around, but I also like doing my own. I like pottering on my own, don't I? Mm. What would you advise, Abby? Any advice? I, I just think he sounds like so in love with her. <laughs> I think it's yeah, quite cute. I think it's a, it's a kind of fine line because you want him really, in love, and she sounds like she really loves him as well. She wants him to love her, but just give her a bit of space sometimes <laughs> as well. 
gabbing at the end of the bed. That they must be a new couple, I think. I don't know. Well, like they say, now that he works so much, and they've got a couple friends. That sounds pretty established to me. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I, I do think that is. There, is there a way of doing it without hurting his feelings? Is there a way of telling him? She'd have to make something up. She couldn't just go. I, I need some space. Yeah, because then he'd be like. <gasps> It, that, would, be that would hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, you'd feel like I'd feel like such a knob. <laughs> if, if, you, if you turned around and went, give us a break, Peter. <laughs> you know, I just, I just love being with you, babe. <laughs> Do you not love being with me? You said it? that to me loads of times. <laughs> what? You, you, you say that to me all the time. What? That you just need to get away from me. Well, sometimes, yeah. That's when, that's when you go on your dog walk. Yeah. Oh, you should buy a dog and we can take the dog out. Mm. That's a good oh, that's, that's a good shout. Mm. But take that dog out. <laughs> needs three. You get a dog three that needs a three orbs yeah. a day. Get like a German Shepherd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking greyhound. Like that. Greyhounds actually don't need that much uh, No. Rapid though, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> too quick. Yeah, Bore get the a collie. collie. Yeah, the collie. yeah, one collie of those. Collie or a Vizsla <laughs> or a German Shepherd. One of those sheep dogs that's just like peeing all day. <laughs> Oh, he just loves that little dog. <laughs> yeah, she could find a dog. That's not a bad idea. Great idea. There you go, Jade. Don't so say we don't help on this podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, puppy body collies. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. All right. Very enjoyable. I laughed a lot. On, uh, I don't know if we've helped anyone. I don't yeah. think we have helped anyone and we're just talking about keeping on love how to keep a relationship going and we've argued throughout the whole pod. Mm, but you know what? We've laughed and that is the key, I think. Where there's laughter, there's love. <laughs> Au revoir. Au <laughs> 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 <laughs>